Hello and Happy New Year. It is a really beautiful first day of January here, uh, but it is cold. This morning it was nine below, but we've really warmed up to eight below. Originally I'd planned to do a new update to the user interface for version 11, but a lot of people have done really good overviews of that. Uh, EV Dave's got a couple videos on it. Uh, and I also saw a tweet from Elon saying that that's going to be updated fairly soon. So uh, it doesn't make sense to do a, a hardcore overview until we see those new changes. But with this extreme cold, I decided that we'd do something else tonight that applies to all EVs, not just Tesla. I knew it was going to be very cold last night, so what I did is decide not to plug in. And I had about 59% charge. Uh, the battery is now very cold even though it was in the garage. I am going to go to a supercharger about 16 miles away, uh, not speed, not try to warm up the battery much uh, or as little as possible, and show the difference between charging a cold battery and charging a warm battery. So I'm not gonna navigate to the supercharger, I'm just gonna show up and plug in, and we'll see what the charge rate is, and then we'll do the same thing, pre-warming the battery, uh, navigating to a supercharger, and plugging in and show the difference and the importance of plugging in before you go to bed at night and not with a cold battery in the morning, especially if you're traveling when your battery is nice and warm from the road, hit that supercharger or that level three charger before you hit your hotel if that doesn't have charging, rather than letting your pack get super cold overnight. I'm very cold, time to get in the car and get moving. We've got 53% after I've been opening and closing the car for a little bit. Haven't pre-warmed it with the app or anything, and we've got the snowflake. So on the app, it shows something like 58%, but part of that is blue. I'm guessing that 5% difference is representing the snowflake. But let's get up to the supercharger without warming the battery up too much and see how the supercharger behaves on this cold battery. Now that I'm in drive, you can see that dotted line on my regen side and there's almost no regen available because that pack is so cold but that's what we want for this test normally you would not want that but this is going to work for us today All right, we just made it to St. Louis Park. We've still got the snowflake, but we're down to 40%, only going about 16 miles. If I put it in drive here again, you can see we still have almost no regen. Although a lot of that was highway, we weren't going terribly fast and I had the heat on and everything. So definitely preconditioning before you leave or even charging a level one overnight will help if you're gonna be leaving with a very cold battery. So let's see how this V3 supercharger does when our battery is this cold. So here it's giving us uh, some supercharging tips, which is handy. Battery is heating, keep charge cable inserted. In V11, now all of our information on charging is right at the top of the screen. And I've just got the set limit to 80%. You see getting in and out, we dropped another uh, percentage of, of battery range, but that is interesting. So it's saying 20 minutes remaining. We'll say we plugged in at, just before noon but it's still just working at heating the battery even a couple minutes in so we'll see how this goes how long it takes to start actually charging so this is really interesting and probably a really good move in version 11 because on the forums and things a lot of times we'll get questions of I have a brand new car I just went to the supercharger and it's going really slow and people not understanding why and not realizing that their their pack is probably just really cold in the dead of winter here. So especially for new owners, I really love that they have that screen that pops up saying, you know, here are some charging tips. And then on the bottom, it's really saying nothing is going into the pack still at this point, about five minutes after plugging in. Uh, but I do have a little icon on the bottom saying battery is heating, keep charging cable inserted. So now we're ramping up, uh, we're to finally to 41%, and it's starting to get eight miles an hour at two kilowatts, three kilowatts. So the pack is warming up and things are starting to go. But I love that it's sharing that information 
especially for new owners who might be confused about why it's behaving this way. And just as I was saying that, that battery is heating icon came off the bottom and we're starting to see this ramp up almost to nine kilowatts now. Still not fast, but for an extremely cold battery, warming up is taking a little bit of time and so our charge is gonna take a little bit of time. About 10 minutes in and we've only gained about five or six percent and we're still down charging only at 21 kilowatts. So we're well up to 22 now, peaking at 22. Um, so we are warming up, but still it's that cold battery just keeping us slow here. All right, 20 minutes in and we are up to 33 kilowatts and 52%. So we've added about 13%. You can tell the pack is really warming up. Another thing I'm doing here is sitting in the car with the heat running as the, the car is charging. Now, obviously as I'm doing that, that's using up some energy too. If you can get out and get into a store or something and let the car just put all its energy into uh, charging, that's going to you know, speed up this time a little bit too, but I don't know how much it would affect with a battery pack this cold. Uh, we are now up to 34 kilowatts and 53%, so back, for, back where we started when we were at home. And our time remaining now says 14 minutes instead of the 20 minutes it was hanging on for the full 20 minutes it took to warm up. So obviously that's based on a, a best guess when you get here and then adjusts from there. Uh, we are slowly starting to creep up. We're seeing 35 kilowatts now, so it's definitely not quick with a pack this cold, but the superchargers do warm it up well. A little teaser for the rest of this video. So once this charge is complete, we're going to hit the highway, uh, burn off some energy, and uh, keep the pack nice and warm. Then when it seems like we're about halfway through this charge, I'll set the navigation to this supercharger, and that'll precondition the battery to keep it even warmer and at the perfect temp for plugging in. If I can get back here, ideally with the same amount of charge I arrived earlier, that would be great. I'm also gonna try to get this same uh, supercharging cabinet. So we're really comparing apples to apples from a cold pack to a warm pack. All right, still cruising along. We're a little over 30 minutes of being plugged in. We're up to 40 kilowatts though, so getting better and better. The more the pack heats up and charges up, now saying 11 minutes remaining. Uh, that doesn't seem to be terribly accurate. It's a guidepost, maybe it is, we'll see. But up to 40 kilowatts, that's still going up and miles per hour is still going up. We'll see where we are at uh, 1240. All right, 40 minutes in and we are at 71%. Uh, the time remaining still says six minutes. Uh, we are at 41 kilowatts, uh, charging at 170, 171 miles an hour, and uh, still headed up toward 80%. So temperature outside is minus six according to the car. And uh, this is super boring, so I really wouldn't encourage anyone to do things this way. Obviously, it's still working, so that's fine. And if I'd gone into the store, I'm sure the time would be passing faster. Or if I was playing games, which I easily could do, but I'm trying to keep track of the screen for the video, so um, not doing that. But we're just, you know, crawling along. But the pack does seem to be getting warmer. It'll be interesting to see at this state of charge when we do the hot battery check, what our kilowatt rate is at that point. So uh, this should be a pretty interesting comparison. All right, we're coming down to the wire here. It's saying one minute, we're at 79% and just at about 50 minutes. So that took a long time to get 40% back into the battery, but we'll see what it takes with a warm battery. So in a second here, I'll unplug and get us moving. I do want to check if you tap the battery here, it'll see our current session cost $10.87 and that just ended. So that is our total. I'm going to unplug so we don't have idle fees and get mo moving and keep this battery warm. 1D, let's see if we can get that later. Charge port's closing. Get on the road. Navigate to St. Louis Park Supercharger. We 
we've been preconditioning pretty much since we turned around using some decent speed to burn off some energy. And looks like we've got 1D again, which is fantastic. Same, same cabinet. It's about as apples to apples as you can get. So let's see how we ramp up. So instantly we are at 105 kilowatts and I'm guessing now that 20 minutes remaining is going to be pretty accurate. And it is 149, so uh, we should again be pretty easy to compare here. So I'm going to stay in the car again. I was thinking of going back in but I want to kind of keep tabs on this and see how how long it takes to get to different milestones so we can compare it better to the earlier test. Uh, I did turn off the seat heaters and the steering wheel warmer and lowered the temperature down to 68 degrees, uh, which is more typical of what I do, or at least it's not working as hard as if I did go inside. We're already up to 45% in two minutes, so that's a good sign. Down to just hit 100 kilowatts, ramping down, but that's fine. That's still plenty at 45% and uh, we'll just see how it goes. One other thing that's worth bringing up is that in gas cars in the past, uh, my brother would always get super frustrated with me or my mother if we got into the car with, uh, you know, uh, after sitting overnight and just turned it on and threw it in gear because the oil isn't warmed up, you know, uh, the engine hasn't had a good chance to, to warm up. And that's kind of a good parallel for uh, you know, jumping in in a cold battery. And so if you can at least preheat, even if the batteries, even if the car's not plugged in, if you can at least preheat uh, through the app to warm your car up a little bit, just get it waking up a little bit before you can jump in, you're probably gonna do better. Now I'm not gonna compare efficiencies on this trip because uh, the tires are low. Uh, this isn't terribly, I'm not driving for efficiency here. I'm driving to get uh, comparable uh, charging tests. And just like that, we're already up to 50% in four minutes. So much more efficient to charge with a warm battery. We're down to 91 kilowatts, but still 50%, that's still fine. All right, we just hit 60%. So got 20% back in just under 10 minutes. Still rocking at uh, 82 kilowatts with a happy battery and Oh, we've climbed up to minus four, according to the car. So that's good. And we are now at 159, so that's 10 minutes, and we got 21% back, even in this cold temperature. And there we are at 30% in, well, it actually happened a little bit ago, so 30% in 14 minutes at this high state of charge, that's not bad, so. Let's see what that last 10 takes, uh, saying six minutes, but uh, we'll see, still charging at 62 kilowatts. All right, 209, so that is 20 minutes, and we're at 77%, saying two minutes re remaining, and down to 52 kilowatts. I'm not sure we even got up to 52 kilowatts on that last charge session, but we'll check all that out at home. And our cost should be probably be pretty close. We're at 935, uh, 939 right now, and still a couple percent to go. So that'll be interesting to check as well. Saying two minutes, and I believe it with how close we are. And we're just about there. 47 kilowatts, 22 minutes, and it's saying 80%. Still technically charging. Assuming it stops. We let the other one stop, so we'll let this stop too. Uh, there we go. Charge complete. And 9.95, so we did save some money too. Let's unplug and get home. Well, those results speak for themselves, but it's not really official until you take all that data and make a chart or a graph. 
So first we'll take a look at how the power delivery went over the course of the charge. The cold battery took a long time to ramp up and never reached the speeds of the warm battery. Looking up at that warm battery in red, even though we were at a 250 kilowatt charging station, the high state of charge and the cold weather outside held our max charge rate to 105 kilowatts. From there, it had a fairly typical taper down until we hit 80%. Sure, a summer day could go significantly faster, but compared to the cold battery, this felt really quick. Speaking of speed, looking at the charging this way always makes it a little tough to figure out how much faster the other charge really was. So let's take a look at the graph over time, showing that warmed up pack finished almost 30 minutes faster. This really illustrates why you want to get that charge in at the end of the day if you can't plug in overnight. And if you precondition before you get to your car in the next morning, it's a good way to start that next day off right. Now let's take a look at the cost, which is only about a dollar difference, but that adds up over time and is just one more reason to charge a warm pack if you can. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And if you did find it useful, please share, like, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Have a great day and stay warm.